Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to another guide video. I wanted to make this guide video because I thought of a topic that I've never really covered before. And that is the, in my opinion, like the most efficient way to spend resources. Um, this, this is just my opinion and it doesn't really matter too much what you, what you really buy. It won't affect your game that much. Maybe with the exception of gleams, you definitely do want to buy your gleams every single week. Um, but I want to go through all the shops and the shop items and I, if I think it's high value or low value or which, which items I think has the highest value out of everything in the shop. Um, so I'm going to be covering the crystal shop, the arena league metal shop and the clan battle, um, clan point shop. I guess I'll start with the league metal shop because this is something that like these resources or the, these, um, league metals you have a lot more of. Basically, if you go into your, um, Ashmon League and PvP, you will be able to get them. I think it's three per win, and then if you're platinum or higher, you get four per win, um, and then one per loss. So basically, as long as you participate, you will be able to get these. The most important thing you want to buy here is obviously the gleams. Um, if you don't know what they are, like if you're super new, it's basically just replacement materials to evolve your monsters from Evil One to Evil Two. Um, especially important for like rare or uh, event event monsters that you've like missed out on and you only have a few um, or nat 5 monsters because obviously you don't want to feed nat 5s into each other so gleams are really really useful for that they're basically just replacement materials you want to have you don't want to have to have 16 copies of a nat 5 to be able to evil 3 one um, next best thing in the, in the league shop is the normal egg and you know because it's cheaper it's just three to five this one is the the el different element eggs I guess you can buy um, whichever egg you think ha might give you a monster that you want or need or an element um, that you need. Most of the time it's probably not going to come out as something really really good but one time I think I did get some I don't think I've gotten a nat 5 from one of these eggs or maybe I did I think I can't remember where I got my wood shiva I think it, it, it might have been from one of these eggs. Um, in my opinion, the variant eggs are a lot more overpriced. Like it's 900 for this, still a three to five monster. But the only difference is it's a variant. So if you have extra, because you can only buy one each week. If you have extra points left over each week, and you know you're going to PVP next week, um, my recommendation would be to spend it on the normal ones, like the this one first, and then the 150 ones of, of the different elements. And then if you still have leftover that you didn't spend, I guess you could buy the variant ones, or you could just wait till next week and buy all the other ones over again. Um, if you're PvPing non-stop the entire week, you will have a lot more League Medals than you can spend if you don't buy the 900 eggs. So, uh, you know, don't be like me, sometimes I make the mistake of not, not, not spending them. Um, but it doesn't really matter too much because it's just one egg, so if you really wanted to, you could buy the variant one as well. Alright, so moving on to the clan shop. The clan shop has um, the, the, the Siegfried egg. It basically gives you the 5 star Siegfried. Um, these are very, very good monsters. You can use them for, um, I think the water one is a very good clan battle mo clan bat battle monster. I can't even talk right now. The fire one is a really good farming monster. I chose to make my the fire one evil 3. Um, the water one has courageous strike. It's a very, it's a decent courageous striker. It's not the best. Um, but it does have like a creative strikes, which makes it really, really good for Titans. The wood one actually has really good debuffs for Titans as well. So basically, all three of the Siegfrieds are are really strong, and they're they're just essentially free nat fives. If you participate in clan battles for long enough, you will eventually get them for sure. And all of them are actually quite good. So um, yeah, so definitely do your clan battles, and if you have any resources or your clan points. Um, what I would do is definitely spend it on the Siegfried egg first, and I've seen some pretty crazy things, or <laughs> of people rolling this and getting like more astro gems back. But I don't, I don't know how lucky this is. All right, we'll, we'll try it once. All right, we'll try it once for the sake of science. We'll try it once. I don't know how how much this is worth, but um, I've seen some people do like take screenshots of like them winning like, you know, like 700 Astro Gems with 60 Clan Points. If that's true, then it's definitely worth. 100 Astro Gems for 60 Clan Points. Um, I, I think I think this was definitely a low roll. 
but most of the rules are probably like that. Yeah, don't 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 gamble. Don't don't gamble, kids. You'll you'll lose it. You'll lose all your money. Um, yeah, probably not the best idea to gamble. The dragon sigils, I think, is kind of very overpriced. I don't really think it's worth it. Um, refilling with ten clan points is also very very overpriced. I think besides the Siegfried egg, the best thing you can do is gamble. Yeah, that, I think that's pretty much it. I, I feel like these are actually really, really overpriced. Um, especially with the Dragon Sigils ex expiring, so like you need to... You only get 4 for 50, so I think... I don't really think it's... You might as well gamble once, you know, th then uh, try to get 4 Dragon Sigils. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for Clan Points. Now, the Crystal Shop actually has a lot of stuff in, in it. So, we're mostly going to be talking about this. Um, usually, if there's an event monster, there's there's they give like a variant version. Now, for for different events, uh, this could be situational. I f personally think it's really only worth it to, for the package mons. Like, the ones that you can only get in packages. Because these monsters, you can get variants of on the map. Uh, meaning that it's still like it's still pot potentially possible for you to get a variant version without buying this. But for the package monsters, the only way that you can get variants is I think if you buy a lot. A lot of times they they give like a variant version, or um, like in a previous event they they had like this. Um, they they sold a variant version in the crystal shop for like 300 crystals. Um, depending on the leader skill, I, it could be worth. I think this is like Tanya's like a attack leader skill. And you can get her on the map, so I don't really think this is worth it for this event. But it could be worth it for like different, um, you know, package package stuff. This is a five-star skill book. Currently, there's only Valkyrie. Um, honestly, for for late game, I think this actually is like the best thing because there's no way to get make your nat even stronger, right? So if you want to make your nat even stronger, eventually you want to upgrade their skills. So. I guess this could be worth it, depending on how you how you see the game, because um, you know eventually you want to make a, like a single team as strong as possible. You want to make a few monsters as strong as possible. Now for Valkyries, I I'm not really sure. Um, I don't think they're like super super top tier nat fives. If it was like I don't know, Odin or something like that, then maybe it, it, it would be really really good, but. I'll, I'll probably wait till when they um, release more skill books for different nat fives before before I buy this. Um, four star skill books, I personally don't think it's worth it. Three star is definitely not. Two star is um, is no as well. Uh, refilling fifty energy with three thirty crystals is is kind of a waste. It's it's definitely not worth it. Mystic fab fabric uh, ten for. 10 for a, for um, 100 crystals. It could be worth it, actually, because you only get one per month. And the only way you can get, like, costumes and free-to-play is to collect the fabrics. And you get them from login rewards, but then you can also buy these for, for once, one a month. And then if you... You really don't need that much fabric. You only need 150 in order to buy, like, this set or something like that. Um... What about the Ran one? Yeah, like this one only costs a hundred, you know. So basically, a hundred. Um, is it a hundred crystals for a hundred fabric, or three hundred? Oh, it's ten fabric only. All right, this is gonna take a while. So this is this is definitely gonna take a while. It's gonna take you, uh, I think, five months at least, because you get get one from login reward and then you get one here. So if you save up for five months as a free-to-play player, you'll you will eventually be able to get your costume. I I think it's worth it. I think it's 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 kind of worth it. Um, it's not too bad. Um, buying a four to five star monster with the legendary egg, uh, two hundred and fifty-seven crystals. I personally don't think it's worth it because you can. Like you don't even know what nat four it is. Like it's not pro. It's it could be something useful. It could it, it could be something completely garbage. So, um, and crystals are only obtainable after you summon a lot with astral gems. So I definitely don't want to waste them. Um, I 
bought these before, but I now I now I see the light, and I don't think it's worth it. Uh, the gold storage box one one million for three hundred and fifty crystals. Basically, you have to summon I think like eleven times in order to get this many crystals, or or um, ten times I think. Yeah, no, no, eleven times. You have to summon at least eleven times to get this many crystals. And summon eleven times, you need like. You need like 6,600 astrogens. Yeah, it's like for for a million gold, it's not really not really worth it. But then when you're summoning, you also get some stuff. Um, I I just think the other stuff in the the shop is much much higher value. Um, I would probably use use your crystals to buy stuff that you can't obtain um, from from elsewhere because these resources like the crystal. Crystals you can only get from summoning in 10 plus ones, and it's very very hard for you to, to get them, especially if you if you're not spending a lot. If you're spending a lot, it doesn't really matter. Um, if you're spending a lot, the crystals, you you know you could probably buy gold for for cheaper than to use to, than to spend a lot, buy a lot of astrogen, summon, and then use crystals to buy the the gold box. So it's not really I don't think the gold box is really worth it. Um, Gleams this I would say is probably highest value like gleams you get three for 600 um so it's like two gleams per 500 if you have a lot of nat fives that you can't raise um like too many nat fives not enough gleams you know like first world problems then this is definitely worth it because it just helps you evolve your monsters and get them stronger a lot faster and you have access to more monsters um especially for people that are like trying to you know like build like multiple nat 5 creative strikers for like titan teams and stuff um these are these are kind of important um three three to five star like dark astromon times three for 600 eggs i guess if you're feeling super lucky you could get it but then again it could always come out as something really really garbage um it, it's hard to say because from from my personal experience, whenever I summon with like dark eggs, you know I usually get pretty good luck. But I know overall most people don't have like crazy crazy luck with like dark eggs, so you know it it probably isn't worth it because the the chance of you getting something really good is is actually quite slim. You're better off getting something that's guaranteed, like the gleam or something like that. Um, the the guaranteed five star is. For 1,200 is actually. This is hard to say because if you have a lot of gleams, you don't have nat fives, and you want nat fives to. But then again, you can also get nat fives from summoning. So it's not really something that you can only get in the crystal shop. It's not. It's not exclusive. So. Um, Yeah, I, I don't think it's that worth it. It's like one single nat five for like a lot of crystals. Um, but I mean, if you have no nat fives, you wanna wanna try your luck. Then, like after summoning for a long time, then I guess this is probably one of your only ways to do it. <laughs> if you're like insanely unlucky, the four to five star light dark eggs, I. I've seen some people summon some crazy crazy stuff from these but I've also seen some someone get like absolute garbage and this is a lot of like the 1800 is a lot of crystals so it's a gamble as well like if you're you're trying to gamble and try to trying to get like a good light like, dark monster um, and over half of them are like rebirth mons or monsters that you might not need uh, and there's only like a few really really strong light dark monsters. I guess if you really have nothing to, nothing else to do, like you have no other monsters you really want to raise, and you need like a few specific really strong light dark monsters to push your game to the next level, I guess I guess that's one of your only only ways to do it. Um, but there really is isn't that many, like. Some of these monsters are good, but they're not like super godly. Uh, like Light John's really strong. Okay, this is like one of the monsters. If you summon, if you buy the egg and you get this, you're like, okay, that that was 100% worth. Um, Light Hana, you'd be like, yeah, that was 100% worth. Um, Q 
Kira, hard to say. And then... And then that's... I think that's it. Um, if you try to... You could try to get in that 5 light dark. Um, if you're super lucky, then I guess it, it works. Because almost all the light, nat, nat 5 light darks are really strong. So if you do actually get a nat 5, then, then it's worth. Um, the dark egg actually might be worth a little bit more because there's a lot stronger dark monsters. There's a lot more like super strong dark monsters that you can't get from events and stuff. Um, you know, for example, like even if you summon some rebirth monster like before and you weren't able to obtain it, like like Dark Mona, I'd say it actually might be worth. Um, if you have no Dark Miho and you summon Dark Miho, that, that could be worth. Um, Dark Leo is quite strong, but I don't think he, it, it can justify the prices. If you get like Dark Cupid, it's like, oh, oh shit, you hit the jackpot. Um, basically, you win. And Dark Wild Fang is quite good. I, I'd say it's worth. If you get like Dark Moonflower, then that's that's like another jackpot. Um, Dark Siren, I would say, is worth. She's very, very strong as well. So, I don't know. Like, you just gotta, you really just gotta try your luck for like a few monsters that are really good. Personally, I, I really wouldn't gamble. I would stick with what's safe. Um, buy the fabric for your your costume if you if you want if you're interested in co the cosmetics um, co for your for your monsters. Otherwise, save up, wait for the future. Maybe they have like more Nat Five skill books. Then this would definitely be worth. Um, or the gleams. If you have a lot of Nat Fives you want to evolve right now and you don't have enough gleams, then the gleams are also something that's uh, that's pretty high value. I think for now, Gleams are definitely the best. Um, fabrics, pretty good. And and then Nat 5 skill books. Even if it's just a Valk right now, if you want to raise your Valk, like if you chose Light Valk and you have you want to get her like fully skilled, I think I think she would be really, really strong as well. Or even like a fully skilled Water Valk would hit super, super hard. Um, or fully skilled Wood Valk would actually be really strong for PvP. But it is a lot of crystals, so it's not. It's, it's definitely not easy. But anyways, uh, that is pretty much it for this video. I just want to talk through everything in the shop and kind of give my opinion on what's worth and what's not. But yeah, I think I think it was pretty good. I think it was pretty good. It's it really is up to you at the end of the day because it doesn't doesn't really matter what you choose. It it won't affect your competitiveness that much. Um, maybe with the exception of like getting skill books, if everyone else has like fully skill book nat fives and you don't, then you know there might be a little bit of a difference. But besides that, it it really is just about like progression and speed. Um, and then you know players that start later can always catch up to, to players that were playing longer before if they farm harder and stuff like that. So that's also one of the things I like about MSL. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.